Um, just uh, more stuff on Lucy Letby. I mean, I could actually talk about it for hours and hours. There's, you know, there's just so so much to talk about. Um, so I've been looking on um, crime scene to courtroom. Um, where they give transcripts of um, the um, court proceedings and interviews that Lucy has done with the police, and um, like for some reason, the um, the guy who does the channel believes she's guilty, and so does um, a lot of the commenters, and. You know, they'll be reading out these transcripts um, of Lucy's police interviews. And, I mean, if anyone's got anything to hide, um, you would think they would maybe, like, not comment. I mean, I've said this before. But she answers absolutely every question. And the reason, I think the reason, correctly so, lawyers... Um, say to people um, best to say no comment is because anything you do say <laughs> people do use against you I mean there was this one bit and this is just so ridiculous then um, basically she's describing her doing her job and and this is what most of the evidence um, was actually like in the what they what they called evidence. It was just her. Dis it was just people describing her doing her job as as a nurse. Um, and she gave um, the officer interviewing her was um, asking her, you know, what happens when the baby dies and you do these footprints and handprints and you know some people find it quite morbid. Um, but I mean, it's just, you know, it's just something that a nurse, uh, you know, that that they want to do for the families. I don't, I don't know if it's part of the protocol. I think it is. Um, but, but this, this is the thing. Um, the 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 officer asked her, "How did you feel about that?" And um, she said it was quite a nice thing to do something for the family. And again, um, you know, if you're if you're of the um, persuasion where you think she's some sort of murderer, you would think, oh, she said it's a nice thing. She must have murdered him. Um, when in fact, if you ask, you know, I've had relatives die and I remember myself, um, you know, asking the nurse who was, who was there in their final hours, because they must do it quite a lot, you know, how do they, obviously the families are coping to struggle with that. And um, it's something that they see every day. And you know, how do how do you cope with it? And the nurse said, you know, she found it um, quite. Um, she was honoured to be there um, for the families, which is well, you know, similar to how to how Lucy um, answered the question about how she felt about these, you know, being there for the baby, having to deal with the. The aftermath of the baby's death. So I mean, there is, there is no, there is no right answer on how, you know, how, you know, people deal with things in, in different ways. Um, and just everything is just so ridiculous. The way, you know, lawyers say it's best to say no comment because everything you do say is just taken against you. Every little thing. Um, I just um, I'm just struggling to get it um, so let's talk about her Facebook searches now the police were saying you know why were you Facebook searching so and so and so and so six months later and she answered the question saying you know we like to see how you know how babies are doing a bit you know a few months later look they look them up now 
about Facebook searches, about Facebook even. Facebook, you're registered, when you do a Facebook search, and this is how the police got her Facebook searches, um, they're on her own official Facebook account with her name on, knowing that everything she's going to search is going to be fully traceable to her. She didn't... Cr here's what she... Here's what she didn't do. She didn't create some sort of anonymous account to do some sort of searches for and then start trolling the people or anything like that. I mean, this is... She, she searched for the families later on her official Facebook page with her real name on, nothing to hide, and she would have done this to families of um, babies that lived. I mean, this is the thing about um, we're all, we're talking about all the babies that died. Um, I, I I don't think I've even seen how many statistics there are, uh, considering she was working on this neonatal ward for years. How many babies? Um, she, you know, she cared for and, and, and they all got better. It's just so ridiculous, the whole thing. And there's nothing, there's nothing she could have said in this interview that people wouldn't have jumped on her for. You know, um, when hearing these in police interviews, um, I, in my mind, am thinking, how would I answer this question? And every single, every single answer that she gave um, would have, well, to start off, I would have just said, <laughs> obviously, would have just said no comment. But her being helpful, if I was, if I was being as helpful as she was, um, how how would I have answered these questions? And everything she said, um, you know, if she wasn't sure, she said she's not sure. She couldn't remember. She couldn't remember um, specifically, but you know, she would say, "Who would have done this? Who would have done that?" And it, in my mind, me me answering these questions, sometimes her answers came out exactly the same as I would have given. And for anyone to think that there's anything of guilt in any of these interviews, I don't know. Um, and when you dissect. Um, so a lot of these things have been disproved. You, um, the spreadsheet about who was on call and the people saying that she's guilty saying, oh, that was just <clears throat> that was just a small part of the trial. That was just a small thing on a whole ream of evidence. Well, um, it wasn't. <laughs> to start off with um, the, there was nothing else I listened I listened to uh, I mean as much as I, everything I listen to is just stuff that happens her do, you know testimony of her doing her job as a nurse um, and just everything that comes out um, there's there's a there's a reason behind you know, you can interpret anything in any way that you want. Um, so when they talk about the main evidence, when, when we talk about, you know, when I talk about um, disregarding this note that uh, apparently said, I did this, I'm evil, which obviously she meant, they think that I did this, they think that I'm evil. Um, they would just say, oh, this was just, the people who think she's guilty will just say, this was just one tiny, tiny fraction of that of, of evidence, and the, what actually there's, there's there is no concrete evidence. All that we heard, I mean, you're you're adding up a load of um, a, a load of things of nothing, and it still equals it. You know, zero times infinity. Is I'm afraid still zero, not not one. There's there's just nothing. Um, and I was talking 
before about um, Liz Hull and the other woman um, doing this podcast on the Daily Mail, and I, I said I got I got the impression that um, that they thought she was guilty. Well, after the guilty verdict, um, a couple of months after, um, you know, pe- these. Um, people were questioning the verdict and this Liz Hull woman put out this article saying um, the people the people who are doubting the verdict are and I quote ghouls ghouls and misfits and I just think I'm the only the only ghoul here is you like reading you know the reading um evil where there is no evil you know I sort of tend to think um if someone interprets something in a certain way I think that's more of a reflection on them than than the person you know um, do, do you know what I mean like if it's a bit like when someone makes a, an innuendo you know a sexual innuendo about something that wasn't um, that wasn't sex related it's because it's because that person has got that on the brain and so you know because they're bad people they are just assuming you know they want to they want to put their guilt and evilness onto other people and I you know I think I think to be fair when you know if and when um, Lucy is freed um, just out of um, fairness um, the remainder of her sentence that she would have served perhaps should be served by Liz Hull and um, and the jury members who convicted her I mean that would be justice to me